Hi guys, so I'm back with another mic review, but this time specifically for moto vloggers and users of the DJI Osmo Action 3. Now when this came out, a lot of people were excited, myself included, but were sorely disappointed to see that the mic levels could not go low enough for proper use with a wired microphone, even after the firmware update. The new release DJI Action 4 solves that, but if you still have this, or even if you are using the Action 4, this mic I'm going to review might be a good solution for you. So as some of you already know, one of the solutions to the levels control problem was to use the DJI mic, but that mic is really expensive. But the mic that we're going to feature today might prove a worthy and super affordable substitute to the DJI mic that works with the Action 3. Let's find out if it actually works well. This is the Full Aim X5 wireless lavalier microphone system. At a current price of $129, it's less than half the, the $299 that the wireless 2 goes for. The $329 that you need to pay to get the DJI mic with two mics and the charging case. And even less than the $169.95 of the Boya BYX M6 that I previously reviewed, which would have been promising, but unfortunately doesn't fit well on the USB-C slot of the Action 3. So, like the wireless Go DJI mic, this package is super compact. It already contains two transmitters, so two mics, paired to one receiver. But unlike most other mics in this class, it also has onboard backup recording, which was the unique killer feature of the wireless Go 2. Also, note that this is the Gen 2 package that includes slots for the OTG adapters inside the charging case, and it has circular magnets. It also reportedly addresses the low volume issue when using these OTG adapters, has better stability over distance, and can be charged even with the OTG adapters connected. It still doesn't have a case to carry the additional cables and windscreens though. But anyway, let's talk features. It has around four gigabytes onboard memory, so you can record directly into the mic for backup. You just long press the set button on the transmitter for two seconds to start and end the recording, and it records uncompressed WAV files up to nine hours before it overwrites the oldest files. The transmitter can not only be worn on clothes through the clip, but also has a magnetic attachment that can be worn at any position. So perfect for professionals like myself who want to hide the mic as much as possible. And included at no extra cost is this charging case that also has UV disinfection lights that start once the box is closed. And the charging case also automatically turns off the transmitters and receiver when it is closed. The transmitters each have six hours of battery life. That's about an hour less than the Rhodes and half an hour more than the DJI mic on paper, but they can be charged twice by the charging case. I've seen a reviewer get over seven hours out of one charge. The Full MX5, like the DJI mic, includes all three types of connectors in the package, which mainly your stereo mini jack to connect to the camera, your USB-C to USB-C OTG cable, and your USB-C to lightning OTG cable. So this alone makes it a pretty high value package. You can also output the stereo, mono, or like this wireless go to choose to have a safety track in the right channel that's six decibels less than the left channel. It also has a one touch noise reduction function if you need it. Uh, it's pretty aggressive like the noise reduction on Zoom calls, so I wouldn't use it and just apply it in post. But since you can use this directly with your laptop and mobile, this feature is handy for video calls and live streams. And just so you know how it sounds, this is how it sounds now. When connected with the OTG adapter via lightning, directly to my phone, this is the raw and edited audio, mic check, 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 check. How's it sound when it's here? Mic check, mic check, 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 check. So basically, this is a very affordable DJI mic copy, and you're just mainly missing out on like the fancy OLED touchscreen on the DJI, a little better build quality, and 24-bit internal recording on the DJI versus 16-bit on the full aim. But again, that's not a big deal for, I would say, 90 plus percent of users. But anyway, for my purposes as a Moto vlogger, this is the only other mic so far that I'm sure can be a substitute for the expensive DJI mic as a wireless USB-C mic working directly with the DJI Osmo Action 3. For reference, this setup is what I need to use right now with an attenuator so that the signal from my wired mic isn't too hot for the Action 3. I mean, it's okay and relatively reliable, but I do find that the signal can be noisy sometimes for no clear reason. But now, with the Full Lame X5, we have an all-around wireless mic system that may be used as a versatile moto vlogging mic. 
I can try to use this as a dual mic, one recording the helmet audio and the other inside the bag or rig to the motorcycle to record the exhaust sound. So let me show you right now how I've set them up for moto vlogging. Okay, this is just an initial test of the full aim connected wirelessly, minus three dB. Check, mic check, one, two, check, check, check. Hey, one, two, check, hey. When you pop it open, turns on. So we have a few different options for how to mount mics inside the helmet. Okay, so let's take one of the transmitters. So option one, which will be a more permanent solution is first of all, you have to take the Fourier windscreen. I don't have it with me here downstairs. Attach it here. And then what you can do is you can basically Velcro attach this mic to the inside of the helmet somewhere here and that would be more or less your permanent solution so I've seen other vloggers actually attach this to the outside of the helmet and then just plug in their microphone like I already have inside my helmet now the reason I don't want to do this is because it rains a lot here in the Philippines and these are not waterproof running this cable out basically extending it and then I basically just run the cable down and stick it here in my chest pocket. So with that, let's try out the setup and let's finally hear how it sounds. So inside my helmet, it'll be somewhere here. Mic check, 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 check. How does that sound? Check, check, check. Looking at the gain indicator here, uh, it looks like, I mean, the audio level indicator, it looks like it's fine. It's on my uh, gripper mount. Clearances are all good. And this is ready to be inserted in my jacket pocket. Meanwhile, I've got the second mic. As you can see, I've, I've labeled it. And I'm going to stick it inside here. This is uh, a camera waste pack. So this will be behind me. Let's put it inside there. Okay, helmet on. I'm not sure if you can see in the reflection mic into my pocket and I've got the waste bag here behind me that's where the other mic is let's get the bike out all right I'm good how does it sound with the bike on idle with a medium loud exhaust all right let's go Sustained 80 kilometers per hour. How is it sound? How is it sound? 70, and then we have to stop. kilometers per hour we can't go as fast now because there's more traffic 80 kilometers per hour how is that sound how does that sound at 80 and we have to stop now have another run going back the other direction
So now I'm gonna try to rig it up uh, to what might be the most convenient solution. So you can see it's stuffed in there. Uh, honestly, it's much, it is pretty crowded with my mouth in there and it's much nicer without the windscreen. So maybe being realistic, I'm not gonna put the windscreen there. I'm, it'll surely sound better with the windscreen, but it's just not very comfortable. I would place it lower, but the inside of the helmet isn't flat enough to get a good adhesive perch. That's a sacrifice I'm going to make. I don't use the windscreens anyway when I'm using my wired mic. If this works, it would be a great setup because it's completely wireless and easy to adapt. And just quick comment. Um, don't use dual lock Velcro because this is big and thick. You should use regular Velcro because with dual lock Velcro, it doesn't fit back in the charging case, making it pointless. And the good thing about this setup, again, it's completely wireless. You don't need a jacket that has, you know, a pocket where you can stick the receiver into. It's just the receiver straight inside the helmet. And I've got my visor open. As you pick up speed, I'll put my visor down. How does that sound? So my first impression was that the signal was still actually pretty hot. And uh, well, it's because we're also using the mic closer than optimal. So usually you would use these mics a little further from the mouth. Uh, and that's just the beauty of like the Rode Lavalier 2, really expensive, but the signal is definitely not as hot. This makes it easier to work with a variety of cameras. But again, that mic is way too expensive to keep inside the helmet for me. I'd rather have a solution like this. Oh, let's see. Alright. 80. So good. Slowing down for the light. slow down and already lots of wind visor down but not clipped all right 80 really windy all right how does that sound lots and lots of wind and there you go slow down the block. Here we go. Oh, that's a lot of wind. That's a lot of wind. Woo! That's a ton of wind. That's highway level wind right there. All right, let's go home and have a listen. I was full tank XCS. Yeah. How does it sound? Right, let's wait for my card now. At least that gives you an idea of what it sounds like without all the engine noise. That is me like talking to someone. Now I'm on the fastest stretch of highway. So, this is where I would expect the width noise to be maximum. So, this is a sound check of how the X5 sounds with the DJI Osmo Action 3 inside my helmet with no windscreen and I'm visor down and locked as it sound with the wind, my check, check talking over the wind, my check, my check kasalubong nga si hindi naman tayo ano hindi tayo tanga government vehicle pa yon all right guys so you've heard the audio you be the judge for me i think it's good enough 
I think it will probably sound better on the DJI Action 4. It still sounds a little hot, but in terms of the levels, at least technically, they're not peaking. And after trying to use a wireless system on the long ride, I really kind of prefer just not having those extra cables anymore. It's so easy to chuck in and out of the helmet. I don't have an extra cable kind of pressing on my cheek pad. And I would say there's just two disadvantages to going with a wireless system like this, whether it's you know the DJI mic or the full aim as your helmet mic. Number one is, I guess, less guaranteed weather resistance. I have vlogged with my wired mic, even though it's not weatherproof, in fair, like fair strength rain and everything's been fine. Although I did get some extra noise for whatever reason, but everything was okay. The camera was okay. The mic was okay. So with this, you're kind of less, uh, you kind of feel more scared to leave it on your helmet during the rain. And second, I did experience on my first run when I attached the furry windscreen to the mic that was recording the X host, I actually managed to break off the latches to the windscreen because of the vibrations on my waist bag that I was using to record the X host. So if you want to avoid breaking uh, these tiny, tiny clips. I just realized that you don't actually need to put a windscreen on the exhaust side mic because it's already inside a bag. It's behind your back. It's pretty well protected from the wind. And during my ride, when I was using it without the windscreen on, I wasn't getting any extra wind noise. So if you're interested in trying this out, you can purchase one through the links in the description or the pinned comment. And of course, you can use my code Aaron10 for a 10% discount. They did send me this, but these are my honest thoughts. And I did show you the difficulties and disadvantages that I experienced while using this. Well, with that, I do hope this was helpful. Please leave a like if it was. And stay tuned because the Himalayas Moto Vlogs are coming very soon. I hope. <laughs> Thanks for watching and until then.